Hi, this is Craig with Go Engineer. I'm going to cover how to create your own custom mill holder. Now, there's a few criteria that has to be met in order to create a valid mill holder. One is the sketch must be made on the front plane in the Y positive and X positive directions, and it must have a coincident relationship with the origin. And lastly, it must be made from a revolved feature. So let's take a look at a sketch I've already done. You'll see that it's on the front plane in the Y positive and X positive directions and is also has a coincident relation with the origin. Also keep in mind that any fillets or chamfers you want need to be done in the sketch profile. And then we must revolve the profile. Select the center line. Now I have a valid profile for a mill holder. If I came back afterwards and put in fillets or chamfers afterwards, it won't be applied as it's only looking at the first sketch in our tree and nothing more. In the case that you have downloaded a CAD model of the holder, you'll need to verify that the sketch was done in the correct plane as well as the correct orientation. We can go ahead and edit the sketch to see how it was done. and it was not done in the correct orientation. This can be remedied by rotating the sketch and could be salvaged. In the case that it was drawn in the top plane or the right plane, um, we do have a trick to copying the profile in a sketch. That is to use the intersection curve feature and we'll select the plane that would cross it and then select the faces we want traced which would be the most outer profile and now if I hide the part you can see that we do have this profile that we could then copy and insert into a new part file and use that to revolve our mill holder. Now let's save our mill holder. To do this we'll go to the command manager, the camworks tab or the solidworks cam tab, whichever version you're using. We'll locate the user defined tool slash holder And the file type will be mill holder, which is .mh. And we'll browse and save this file to a known location. I save mine to my PDM vault. And as you can see, I already have several of my own that I've made. I'm going to select save and press OK. Now, I want to show you how to implement the holder we just created. On this part, I've already created a drilling operation, and I want to make sure that my holder does not hit this top face. I want to make sure I have the clearance needed. So I'm going to edit the operation. And under our tool tab and then mill holder tab, I'll change this from basic to user defined. And now select this button to browse to where I saved the file. I'm going to select the file and select open. And you can see now I've got a preview. 
and I can just physically see that I'm not going to have enough clearance. I'm going to run the simulation to show you what that's going to look like knowing that I don't have enough clearance. You can see now the holder is definitely gouging in pretty bad. That's not going to buff out. So I'm going to go back and under my protrusion I'm going to let that stick out a bit further. You can see it's updating here on how far the tool is sticking out or protruding from the bottom of our holder. I'll hit preview and I'll simulate this again. And now I know with certainty my holder is not going to gouge my part. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Craig with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. <laughs>